Qatar's national bank removes the country's former finance minister from its board following his arrest. And good news as officials say nearly all school staff are now vaccinated. Planning on traveling? Some health officials say that might not be the best idea. Stick around to find out why. And finally, Doha News sits down with award-winning director Amin Naifit to talk all things Palestine. Hello, I'm Farah and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's former finance minister Ali Sharif Al-Amadi has been removed from QNB's board. Earlier this month, Al-Amadi was arrested and taken in for questioning on charges of embezzlement of public funds and abuse of power. Shortly after his arrest, Qatar's foreign minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani said the probe is related to Al-Amadi's position as finance minister and not his board member roles at other entities. So far, there have been no official comments from the government on the ongoing probe and Al-Amadi has yet to be charged. Now, as a return to blended learning looms on the horizon, some positive numbers. Around 97% of teachers, workers, and administrative staff at schools across Qatar have now been vaccinated against COVID-19, a senior education official said on Monday. Mohammed Ahmed Al-Bishri said schools are being sanitized across the country to make way for the return of students when restrictions lift on May 28th. Health inspectors and teams from the health ministry are also conducting daily monitoring visits to ensure compliance with COVID-19 protocols. And on that note, are you planning on catching a flight out of Qatar soon? Well, health officials in Doha say that may not be the best idea right now. In comments made to Qatar TV, Medical Director of Hamad Hospital, Dr. Yusuf Al Musulmani, advised the public to avoid traveling unless absolutely necessary. Although there has been a drop in cases here, the situation will only be considered safe when at least 80 to 90 percent of the total population has been fully vaccinated. But that's only expected to happen at the end of the year. Will you be risking it for that travel post, or will you wait it out? Let us know in the comments. And finally, this is something to add to your reading list. Doha News sat down with Palestinian director Amin Naifeh, who spoke to us about why it's important for the arts industry to vocalize support for Palestine. Naifeh told us more about his award-winning film 200 Meters, which reveals the story of life behind Israel's separation wall and showcases the dire realities of daily life under occupation. For the full report, head on to dohanews.co. That was it for me today, but for more of our stories, head on to dohanews.co. Have a great day.